Hi, I'm Pastor Tay. And today, I want to share a latte with you about the actual cause of depression. One of the most basic responses to depression is to blame people and circumstances for causing it. There are the sudden tragic turn of events. There's a long list of hurtful words and acts of betrayal by friends and family. And then there are these unexpected, the loss of health, for example. And through all this, there's a general sense that you are the victim of all this. Now, if you're meeting in a group, you can pause to make a list of situational factors that people blame for their discouragement. Pause now. No doubt, these things can take its toll on your body and soul. But the actual cause of depression is not anything or anyone. The actual cause of depression is your response to the situation. Let that sink in. It's your response to the situation. Consider today how your life is filled with various responses. The truth is that God allows and actually proactively works in those situations, actually schedules in various responses, good and bad, into your life for your benefit and to His glory. No situation automatically produces a result inside you. We think they do, but they don't. It's your response to those situations and people that makes all the difference. And you know that your response is a basic decision that you make. Consider the popular saying, adversity builds character. It's actually not true. Adversity could actually break down your character. The truth is that it's your response to adversity that builds character. People also say things like, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Actually, that's not true either, because what doesn't kill you could actually leave you half dead. The truth is that your proper response to such hard times will make you stronger. It's your proper response of faith, trusting that God has a greater purpose in allowing these things to come into your life and then learning from them and growing from these experiences, right? Today's scripture is James chapter 1, verses 2 through 4. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds, because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work, so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So, Adversity could make you or break you. It's our decision. We could actually respond positively knowing that God has a greater purpose. Sound familiar? Well, even if your life is at stake, there can be a better response to the greater purpose. For example, one pastor I know Actually, I should say I knew because he passed away from cancer. His cancer was very public as he stood before his congregation. And each week, his congregation saw him just wither away. But his response was to see the greater purpose and to accept that his life was part of God's greater plan. And so he responded with these words, All my ministry years, I taught the people how to live. Now I will teach them how to die. And with this, he lived and died for the greater purpose. Isn't that what Jesus did? He lived and died for the greater purpose, fulfilling God's plan. Now, if you're meeting in a group, you can pause to share your perspective on how God is working in your life for the greater purposes that you see. Pause now. Consider today, the challenges in your life are more than a series of unfortunate events. And look to God who can strengthen your response 
so that you can pursue the greater purpose for your life. Thanks for joining us for a devotional drink today. If you love almond lattes, click here to subscribe so you know when the next one is ready to enjoy. Visit our website for resources for every chapter of your life. And if you're thirsty for more, click here. See you next time. May God bless your day.